Hey there, how you doing, y'all? What's up? It's Nate. This is training week, seven weeks out. Squats on Sunday, here we go. 275 for five sets of six. This felt amazing. Last week's squats, not so much. This week's squats, they did, and I can conclude that it's because of technique. Now, I cut these a little bit high. Uh, you'll see another set posted on my Instagram where I just sunk them. Uh, but, you know, I was trying to keep my abs tight mainly here. That goes for everything, every exercise you could do with a barbell. Um, and almost anything else, too, you want to keep your abs tight. So full body tension actually helps you direct more of the work towards the right muscles, believe it or not. So those felt really good. Rated the last set of five, let us, last set of six at a seven RPE, excuse me. On to my deadlift assistance, Romanian deadlifts. This is the most weight I've ever done on this movement. This is 240 pounds for 11 reps, and I rated it at an 8. This is after I did 205 for 11 reps, and it was just ridiculously easy. Again, the reason being, my technique improved, or I consciously improved it this session. Before, I would kind of, you know, slack on these, and I wouldn't, you know, keep the bar as close to me as I could, uh, or I wouldn't really force myself to lock out with the glutes and use the hamstrings on the bottom portion. Um, I would move too fast, anything like that, that would mess me up. But this time, they felt awesome, and I felt none of it on my lower back. Um, you know, I was using a belt, but I didn't have it real tight because I didn't want to get winded too quickly. Um, I'm not going to say this felt good during the set, but, you know, that never happens. But, uh, you know, I rated the set an 8, so I'm just moving up and weight on these. This is only going to help my deadlift. And that lockout applies not only to deadlift, but to squat also. So... Keep that in mind, guys. Pick your assistance movements wisely. All right, and lastly, accessory for bench, triceps. It's just fun getting a pump here. You know, I found that tricep pushdowns are more or less a full body movement too, or a full upper body movement, I should say. Any type of tricep extension, if you do it right and keep tension everywhere else, it's going to feel like that. So, you know, I can see my forearms are looking juicy there. You can't see my triceps because I'm too fat right now, but... You just wait. Speaking of fat, I'm in the 198 class for powerlifting, so after that, I might bulk up for strongman and then cut down again. But anyway, the next day. All right, bench press. It's going up. It's going up. Technique didn't feel too solid today, but I think that's just because the heavier weight, and that makes perfect sense. So I'm going to have to get used to that because, you know, the competition is all about getting a heavy single. Anyway, 185 for a 6x6 six six here. Six sets of six reps. I remember when I couldn't get 150 pounds for a 5x5, five five. so, you know, it, progress is happening. It's just taking time. i got to be patient with it. Feeling good, though. On to squat assistance here. High bar, pause squat. Really trying to sink these. The depth felt really good, and I have no idea why. But it did. Um, it was a little harder to use my quads directly just because I've been low bar squatting so much and trying to use my hips and everything, hips and glutes. Um... Still keeping the abs tight here. This felt good. It really did. Um, I haven't high bar squatted in a little bit. A few weeks at least. So, good stuff. Hoping that this will help my low bar squat out of the hole with strengthening my quads. Um, and I'm looking to improve my numbers all around on squat. Catch it up with my deadlift a little. So that's the plan. Guys, a lot more to come in the next few weeks, okay? Peeking for a competition. Stay tuned. You're going to love it. So deadlifts this day, uh, not very happy with them. Not proud of these. Proud of the weights, of course. That's a PR and just total volume. 395 for three sets of six. This was my last set, and I was just fatigued by here. I was trying different things out, trying to use more leg drive, and then I got it too far out in front of me, so then my lower back was compensating. It just it wasn't a good set. And I wish I had paid more attention to the form of it. That being said, if you saw my Instagram story, I'm going to maintain this low to 395 for the next couple weeks or until I can get my form straight. And I might even decrease it a little bit. I'd much rather have a clean, moderately heavy lift than a near failure, sloppy technique, injurious type maximum or super maximum lift. So 
That's the plan. I need to stay humble with these. There's a lot of rounding in the back right now. Maybe not the lower back, but still. You can tell I'm a little upset there. Anyway, on to close grip bench. This was a huge success for the day. That's why I like to kind of mix up my movements, stagger the accessories and assistance movements as well, because it gives me something to look forward to other than just one movement of the day. Like, I don't just do deadlifts and deadlift accessories and all of this, because then if one of those things is bad, it's likely all of them will be. But, you know, if you combine them, stagger them a little bit like I do, then you're always going to have some type of success, unless you're doing a lot of things wrong. So I do enjoy this style of programming for myself too. But 175 for 11, that's huge. I haven't even done that on regular competition grip bench. Super happy with that. On to walking lunges. My old friend. Here we go, but I'm doing them weighted this time. I haven't done them weighted consistently in a while, so I'm doing these weekly now um, as an accessory, muscle-focused movement for my squat. So hopefully that'll help. And then from here, well, you see me coming back there. I guess I should have cut this clip a little short. But moving on to the next day, strongman stuff again. Here we go. All right, strongman day one, log press. It's getting better and better technique-wise, except on my sets after this. They were a little bit sloppy, but the third one was better than the first, so that's good. 155 pounds here. I haven't done that before on long press, so happy with that. Very, very good. And then I did my 60-second AM reps. I've explained that plenty of times. As many reps as possible in a minute. So this was my second set, actually. I did 120 for five. I also did 120 for five in the first set, but it was a lot, lot sloppier, and I didn't film it, so... I'm glad. <laughs> uh, you can see all the angles here. You can see how I'm trying to keep it close to me throughout the entire pulling and cleaning motion. Um, I'm keeping it up against me, basically. I'm not letting it come out more than a couple inches from my chest and my torso. And then the press part of this, I'm really, really focusing on pushing up and back, getting that handle, that neutral grip in kind of the the palm of my hand, right? Uh, getting it in line with my wrist. Um, and then the other thing I'm just working on here is timing. Uh, you saw a set of this on my Instagram too. It was faster. I got 120 for six. So uh, improving, you know, that's one every 10 seconds. And he went on to frame carries here. Uh, I was going to do 390, but I figured, fuck it, let's go to 400. So did that. Three sets, 50 feet, nice and simple. This is really taxing on the grip though. But we'll see how that fares for the next Strongman day on Saturday. Later. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> funny thing, I didn't train on Saturday. Shame on me. Back to it on Sunday with squats. See ya.